Now to our market monitor, who likes large cap stocks that he says are cheap and misunderstood by investors. This is his first time joining us on the program. He is Charles De Reyes. He's the senior analyst at Brandywine Global. Welcome, Charlie. Nice to have you here. Hi, thanks for having me. So what is it that you like about, before we get to your picks, about the large cap stocks in particular? Well, we see when we're looking across the large cap universe, you know, we're finding pockets of some extraordinary cheapness across the valuation space. And so not all large caps are cheap, but we found enough opportunities where we think we can really uh, add some profit for our clients. What do you expect as we start a new month of trading and we edge closer towards the September um, arena where a lot of people do think that the Fed will move up on rates? Sure. Well, you know, August, first off, August trading is usually always pretty volatile. Mm -hmm. You have a lot of investors going on vacation. So the trading tends to be kind of sloppy leading into that. Um, you know, we take a viewpoint that, you know, the Fed is going to wait for, for definitive data on whether or not to raise rates. And most of that's going to be predicated upon the jobs report. All right. Let's get to your picks. The first one up is Citigroup, target price of about 75 over the next uh, 12 to 18 months. Why do you like it? Well, we like Citigroup because we think, uh, number one, it's an extraordinarily cheap stock. Uh, the, ca the bank is very well capitalized, and we think next year they could start to return capital back to shareholders and take up the dividend. Uh, but more importantly, we think the, the actual earnings of the company are depressed right now, and that's due to the low interest rate environment, which is pushing revenues down. So we think, looking out two years, Citigroup could earn $7, uh, and a lot of that will be predicated on the interest rates. And, but most of that's on, actually on cost cuts. So we like Citigroup a lot right here. Yeah, and it's more of an international play versus the next financial that you like, which is Bank of America, which is a much more domestically focused bank. Right, yeah. Bank of America similarly is very cheap. And we think investors aren't giving it a credit for a lot of the cost cuts that the bank has done. And just like, and just like Citigroup as well, uh, the interest rates are pushing the revenues down, which is masking the true earnings power of this company. And so we think the combination, looking out two years, Bank of America could be earning $2 a share. And we think that's not being priced into the stock right here. And finally, General Motors, uh, you say that people are maybe overreacting a little bit to what's going on in China. Sure. So General Motors stock, it's one of the cheapest that we find within the entire market and especially the large cap universe. Investors are really nervous that the Chinese auto market is deteriorating. But when you actually look at GM's results over the past uh, two quarters, that hasn't shown up yet, and it's not evident in their results. And GM's not getting a lot of credit for the strength of the North American business, which just put up its best quarterly profit of all time. And additionally, GM, their European business and the Latin American business are losing money today. But within two years, both of those businesses could be back to break even. Uh, and GM also pays a 4.5% dividend yield. So there's a lot to like with GM, and there's a lot of ways to really win with that stock. All right. On that note, Charlie, thank you very much for joining us tonight. Charlie DeReyes with Brandywine Global.